first graders, welcome to your art class this week. I thought it would be fun if you wanted to make some more puppets or little toys to play with. And I made a cat, but it doesn't have to be a cat. Once you see how the body of this is made, anything with four legs, this can be turned into. So it could be a squirrel, it could be a mouse, it could be a dog, it could be whatever this turns into with a face like this. So you're just going to have fun deciding what you want. And I'm going to show you the basics of how to make the body and the shape. So what we're going to be doing is we literally, you look, I started this. I had two, two pieces of paper to have extra paper for things. So if I start and I literally have a piece of paper, maybe I didn't use the big piece of paper, I did. Okay, you can see. If I take a piece of paper like this and I fold it in half, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half all the way down the center. I'm going to cut off part of this that I'm going to turn into its head. So I'm just going to get this ready for whatever, whatever head it's going to have later. I'm going to literally just take on the fold. Now we all know about the fold, that we don't want to cut the fold because that's actually the whole back of my, my animal right here is that fold. What I'm doing is I'm going to give a piece of paper extra that I put behind the head for the neck, a nice big piece, because that makes it a little stronger to stand up with that big piece of paper. So I'm going to come back here on the start and I'm going to give a big piece that's going to be the neck. That's not going to be the head. That's going to be behind the head. And I'm just going to come down and I'm going to make some big paws. I'm not going to, and I'm going to just come down here, make another foot. And at this point, I'm just going to cut this out. So all I'm doing is I'm not making his face yet. I'm just making the body shape. And then I'm going to show you the fold we're going to do for this. So I'm just going to cut that out. And I made sure I was on my fold. So when you do this, you want to make sure you're on your fold. Okay, got lots of extra pieces of paper. So right now, if I stood it like this, see, now I have a flat. What I've done here is I came back and I did a little bending about halfway through that to make another little bend just there on that body because what I'm going to do is turn that back so, so they fold the same way. So I'm, I'm literally giving him like a tabletop on some of our other projects. So basically right now he's kind of, he's got a crease down there but he's got kind of a flat back so that we can do more with him. So if I'm thinking this is going to be where my head's going to go, this is going to get folded back. But that's where I can have fun with the head. So if I was drawing something like this or whatever I decide my face is going to be, here I'm going to take this one. It's kind of almost a teddy bear dog shape. So I'm going to take this one. Kind of fun. You can add whiskers, you can add other things to these as you go. Get this one. Okay, so all I would be doing then is I'd be adding this to the front and I can trim off anything extra. You can see how I've added that to the front right here. So I've got my nice big neck here. So I've, I'm doing that. That gives me the strength for that head to be glued on. So as I do this, you're going to see the tail on this one. Maybe this one I gave a little rounded tail. I have this extra paper all over. I can decide maybe on this one, maybe I just want a straighter tail. A little curl in it. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to just take make a tail. And I'm going to maybe add that down here. It can go on the top or it can go on the bottom. If I want it to go up, I can bend it up like this and I can glue it on. 
So we've really got the basic shape. So here you have your basic shape. Remember it's on the fold. So you've got your, your animal on the fold. Then you've made the extra little fold on both sides. You've got your neck and you've got something you're gonna cut out for your tail that'll glue in in the middle that'll help it open up too. And to make it stand up a little better after you have it all done, right now you have your basic ready to decorate. So when you're decorating it, you just wanna lay it out flat again around the table and decide maybe I'm going to put, here I have him already, so maybe I'm gonna put great big polka dots on him. So I could be thinking about what I wanna do and decide where I'm going to put some little half circles, some funny things. And then I can fill those in with crayons or markers, whatever you have, colored pencils. If you have paints, um, you'd have to let it dry for a while with paints because um, it would be too wet to stand up for a while. So you can fill in real nice and solid when you do that. With your, when you're adding your things here, you can decide what else you might want on your um, face and what you would want on your tail. So like here, I think with those polka dots, it'd be fun to have stripes coming across his tail. Like that would make it fun. And I can change colors. I can add, add other fun things on this. Little, smaller polka dots. I could add, I could even come back with fun zigzags and stripes. I can decide what else I want in here. That's all up to you and your creativity, what you're going to do with your new pet that you're making. Make a whole group of these. Have fun with these. Just making up a whole menagerie zoo of fun little animals like this to make. So you want to also, right at the very end, after you have it all put together, just do a final little fold on the leg like this. That always makes the legs stronger. So just to make it out of my fold here, And I'm just putting that little bit of a crease on a fold to the inside to help him stand up. So when he stands up, there he is, no head yet. So if he has his head, he would be right like this. And his little tail would be here. And there you have whatever you want to call this one that when he'd be finished. So here's my little cat critter. So there you've got them. So now we've got two to play with, you know, and again, make them in different colors, whatever kind of paper you have, just heavy enough to be able to stand up, as, as this one doesn't want to anymore. Okay, have fun with this. Enjoy your lesson.